All right, guys, added another video game character to the collection. Johnny Silverhand. I was going to call him Johnny Utah, and you guys know why. Played by Keanu Reeves in the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 video game from CD Projekt Red, best known for The Witcher 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I mean, at first glance, this dude is a badass-looking character. Um, the proportions seem a little weird, at least to me. Arms seem a little long or skinny for... The body, but we'll get into that. We'll take a look at his accessories, but here is a close up of him in the box. Back of box, oh, side of box, Johnny Silverhand. CG Project Red getting a shot out there since it's their uh, IP McFarland Toys logo. Look at that badass art of Johnny Silverhand and V. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna grab V. Uh, I honestly don't think I'm gonna get the game either. Uh, games like that, they just take over your life, says the guy playing World of Warcraft. But, you know what I mean. Yeah, let's crack this dude open. He looks awesome. It's really quick, continuing on the the packaging here. This is the insert. As you can see, there's some cool posters there for uh, Johnny Silverhand. Take a look. These, are, these are worth looking at, in my opinion. I think this is some rad art. This is very uh, Blade Runner vibe. We're all puppets, at least aesthetically. We are all rats, samurai. And this is where his stand was. All right, let's look at Johnny himself. Johnny Silverhand, again, out of the package, looking awesome. Comes with what is now the classic McFarland stand with the game logo on there. Model, Johnny Silverhand, Cyberpunk 2077. Let's get this dude up close. Comes with an alternate hand. I got him throwing up the horns. That was his alternate hand. Had his regular grippy hand here. Apologize for dropping the figure there. Oh my goodness. No focus. No focus here. So, pretty detailed. Comes with, again, throwing up the horns. That hand comes with, uh, I'm assuming this is a bottle of liquor. And his guitar, which looks pretty good. Pretty, I mean, there's some detail there, but you know, if you look at the back, it's kind of very black. Let's take off the guitar. So the strap is separate, a separate piece in the package as you saw, Samurai on both sides. Let's get the guitar solo again, art by itself. I'm not gonna perform a guitar solo. There we go, some stickers, worn, looking good. Strings are, are painted frets as well good stuff as for johnny himself keanu reeves again looking good man let's get the horns down sunglasses the the kind of i don't want to say ratty but just kind of patchy keanu reeves uh beard um hair's looking good dog tags on the vest a couple patches there on the vest you can see the detail in the arm the cybernetic arm pretty good pretty decent good stuff what is that excess plastic tattoo another tattoo or model number I don't know I don't know the details uh, story-wise I mean, we get the gist of the game, but, you know, I don't know if these tattoos have any significance to the story or who he is. Hand tattoos, some rings. Back of the jacket, samurai. Looking good. Nice and weathered. Pants with the belt. I don't know if it's riveted or just like, are, there, are those supposed to be bullets or it's just, you know, just kind of metal design there. Leatherish type pants looking nice and dirty and some boots to round it off. Let's go back to the face again because it is Keanu. He's a national treasure, as they say. Looking forward to Bill and Ted 3. Looking forward to Matrix 4. Just looking forward to more Keanu. Um, one thing I do want to call out, they definitely saved money on some plastic here because this... 
is just squishy, squishy, squishy. So let's see if we can get a peek of what's in there. Nothing, you know, just some ball joints. Pretty crazy. So you could get really squished, even in the in the crotch. Look at that. Getting some mean, just basically flattening it out. Um, I don't I don't care about that myself. You know, it's kind of genius way to save money, but look at that. It's not hindering anything. You're getting some weird unnatural like bends there, but since we're doing all this, let's just take a look at his articulation. Resend them to the middle of the camera there. So Johnny can look this far down. His head does seem to be on a ball. So you get some decent tiltage there, tiltage there, up there, side to side. Pliable uh, material right there for the hair. Arms, both arms can go up pretty far. It looks like there's, not a butterfly, but we've seen these on his uh, new DC stuff. And maybe his other stuff is like that too. So it's it's kind of a butterfly, but not really, because it's not really cutting in there. You can't get him hugging anything, but pretty good. So no, maybe there is. Mine is stuck. I was going to say no bicep on this arm. Yeah, no bicep on this arm. But we got the swivel up there. Double jointed and elbows on this arm, his cybernetic arm, his silver arm, his silver hand, if you will. Uh, just a single joint, just kind of a bummer. And uh, we'll take a look at the peg for this hand. It's huge, dude. Look at that. That's crazy. So, goes on easy. Where's the handy? He came within package. Big gaping hole. Pops on real easy. So on the hands, depending you know, on how you position the hand. You get that type of movement, or you can get that type of movement. Similar to the import set uh, that we get, Figma, SHF, all that. I don't know, I myself don't think I've seen this on a McFarlane. Uh, I haven't been collecting like the Mortal Kombat line. I think I just have Johnny Cage, and I really didn't pay attention to what his hands could do. Uh, legs, actually, let's go back up to the hip, uh, The sorry, the torso. So again, nothing in here, squishy, squishy. Look at that range, dude. It's pretty good. I mean, it gives him a little bear gut, but again, you could see, I feel like we're violating Keanu's privacy here. Um, just be careful with that. You could see the plastic's all popping out. We usually just squeeze it back in for a more flush and a natural look. Full 360 at the waist. So I don't think it's a diaphragm, but there's some click in there. Look at that. Some pretty good movement, dude, for a McFarlane. Figure he's getting there. He's getting there. I know the Fortnite stuff, you know, we, as a community, have talked about how great the articulation on those are. Um, some of the DC stuff is hit and miss, but that's kind of unnecessary. But there you go. Keanu Reeves doing the splits. No thigh cut to, you know, likely uh, was to keep the aesthetic of the pants. Double jointed knees. Good, good joints, man. Like ratchets. Feels good. This feels like a solid figure despite being kind of empty there. But again, the joint system that's there. Look at that. It's good stuff. I'm a fan. Uh, no real... I'm sorry, I'm having trouble focusing. It's the use of natural light. Uh, kind of a pivot, I guess, but... Yeah, it's not bad, man. This dude's pretty badass. So having him there up against the background, you can see he's just about seven inches tall. So he'll fit in great with the rest of your McFarlane collection. Let's get another character. Because I got her with Johnny yesterday. We'll throw in Batgirl. Pretty cool. And uh, keeping it McFarlane. I gotta adjust the feet on these guys. Uh, Peely from Fortnite. So, McFarlane doing some good stuff. Let's uh, let's get some more characters in here from different lines. Just because. You never know. Stealth Gomez. You know, we don't know the height of a Roachman hybrid. Uh, but they look good together. Johnny could also be a Cantina or Coruscant civilian in Star Wars. Towering over Honda Onaka there. He can also maybe blend in with some of your legends. 
one of my favorites, Heindel. Not bad, you know, not bad height. You can just say he's a tall dude. Uh, something on the neck of front. Give me a moment, adjusting, doing some adjustments here off camera. Uh, here's the Shredder, who is shipping again. If you missed them shipping with Krang, you don't have to get another Leonardo. And that is awesome. And finally, the most recent, uh, one of my most recent acquisi acquisitions besides Johnny Silverhand himself, uh, Dante. So, a little tall, you know how McFarlane rolls, but, you know, this guy, uh, I, I purchased him on a whim, whim, again, I wasn't, I don't plan on getting the game, maybe I will, um, but I think he looks great, dude, it's Keanu Reeves, that's honestly probably why I just bought this on a whim, and he has a guitar and a freaking metal arm, you know, it's, it's a badass looking toy, if you ask me, so... Yeah, I think it's it's worth 20 bucks, dude. You know, not bad. Keanu Reeves, 20 bucks. Uh, McFarlane, you know, you're getting there. You're getting there. You're putting out some decent stuff, I think. Um, and I look forward to buying more. So I might grab V. V was sold out, believe it or not. The vendor I bought this from. I bought this from uh, a, a booth in Frankenstein's, which name, it, the name escapes me, uh, Retail Cost. V sold out, uh, and naturally he was smart enough to order... A ton more of Johnny Silverhand so he's out there you know I think he's shipping he's on display now at Toy Fair but he, he should be shipping now be in your hands I think the game comes out later this year has been delayed so that's probably why these are coming out right now but thanks for looking man uh go ahead and give me a like comment or even a dislike uh subscribe all that stuff let me know are you gonna pick up cyberpunk you guys oh, man I'm gonna get this game I don't know what I'm saying See how I start in the beginning, and then you just play with a cool toy, and then you think about it, and you think about how cool The Witcher was, and how great CD Projekt Red video games are. And there you go. Johnny Silverhand. Thanks for watching all.